हेलो व्यूज वेलकम टू माय चैनल द टुडे टॉपिक इज जेनेटल हर्ब्स जेनेटल हर्ब्स इज अ सेक्सुअल ट्रांसमिटेड डिजीज आल्सो नोन एज एसटीडी एंड इट्स कॉज्ड बाय द हर्ब्स सिंप्लेक्स वायरस व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज एचएसवी नाउ हर्ब्स सिंप्लेक्स वायरस इज दे कॉज द जेनेटल हर्ब्स बाय एंटरिंग द स्किन or the mucous membranes through the microscopic breaks in the skin and the mucous membranes now there are two types of hsv the number one is herb simplex virus 1 and the herb simplex virus 2 also known as hsv1 or hsv2 now in hsv1 is typically cause uh, cold sores and it has pv uh, sorry hsv2 virus typically cause the genital herpes you know no either herb simplex virus type can cause sores on the genital areas and uh, the genital herpes is transmitted by any type of the sexual contact with the genital area now when the symptoms are present they may include like uh, painful blisters uh, or the ulcers in the genital area or itching and burning or uh, tingling sensation in the skin you know and uh, with the initial uh, genital herpes uh, infection some individuals may develop symptoms like uh, fever or uh, uh, body aches or the swollen lymph nodes you know and uh, the genital herpes symptoms, uh, symptoms uh, come and go over the person's life span you know and due to reactivation of the viruses uh, diagnosis is usually done by recognizing the skin changes in the genital area uh, but the viral cultures and genetic uh, amplification of the herpes simplex virus uh, which is a genome material and other tests may be done you know uh, but your doctor will perform the physical examination uh, ask the medical history and then he will decide uh, what other uh, tests are needed you know uh, once diagnosed uh, the next thing is what is the treatment or the cure you know well there is no cure for the genital herpes uh, but there are medications to make living with the genital herpes more manageable you know and the antiviral medications are used to reduce the severity and the frequency of the genital herpes and the genital herpes symptoms usually develop about 4 days after the exposure to an infected person and uh, some natural and uh, home remedies may help uh, to relieve and the symptoms and severity and uh, but there is no cure you know and now the oral antiviral medications uh, may be used uh, in pregnancy so you need to check your obstetrician or gynecologist you know before taking any medications if you are pregnant and uh, prognosis uh, uh, is variable and uh, there is no cure and the uh, recurrent outbreaks may vary in frequency and the severity you know. but it's uh, prevention is difficult Uh, condoms uh, may prevent the disease spread during the sex you know but not in the areas of the skin which are not covered uh, by the condom or during the oral or the genital uh, contact you know and uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day thank you very much